Hi everyone, this is my video on how to make bullet jewelry. Today we're going to make um, very simple but elegant post earrings with Swarovski centers. Um, as you can see right here on the table, I've made a unique collection of different bullet jewelry. Um, not everything that I've made is pictured here, but here's just a sample of some of the things you can do with bullet casings. And you can get the bullet casings on wholesalebulletjewelry.com. Uh, they have all different sh shapes and sizes of bullet casings, 38s, 40, 45s, 9mm, you name it, they have it. So I've made post earrings, pendants, dangles, bracelets, rings, cufflinks, uh, tie clips, pretty much anything that I've made out of bullet casings. And they're absolutely gorgeous, and not to mention, you're recycling and reusing. So here's some of the items I'm going to show you that I've used to make the post earrings. And again, all these items I actually bought off of WholesaleBulletJewelry.com. It's a non, it's a one-stop shop for everything that you need to make bullet jewelry. So here are the Swarovski crystals that you can get different colors, sizes, and varieties they carry. Here's the E600 glue that you use to glue everything in place, which works just fine. Not to mention it actually has a very nice strong hold. It's an industrial strength, industrial strength glue, so it holds things permanently and very quickly. It sets real quick. I like to use a syringe with a blunt tip, and the reason why is because that blunt tip, that very pointed blunt tip, it gets me down to the little crevices that I need to get into. It does precision work and it also prevents an excess of glue so I don't have, you know, clumps of glue all over the crystals and all over the actual jewelry itself. Here's the posts. Here, um, the posts and the backings that I'm using is surgical steel. It's hyperallergenic surgical steel, which is really nice. I also use sterling silver on request. But I personally have sensitive skin, um, and that's why I went with the hyperallergenic surgical steel. It's cheaper, and it prevents any greening, any um, allergic reactions, any hives. It prevents all of that from happening. Okay, so the next step is to show you how we put the bullet jewelry together. And again, like I said, all these items you can actually get at WholesaleBulletJewelry.com. They supply the casings, the findings, the glue, the crystals, everything that you need to make bullet jewelry. They carry, the, they carry it on their website, which is really nice. I haven't found anybody that does that. There's been tons of people who sell the bullet jewelry already pre-made, but I haven't found anybody who you can go to one stop, you know, one place, one website that you can go to and buy everything from. Okay, so as you can see on my little table here, I have a whole bunch of different casings. They're all nine millimeter, but they're all have, they're all different markings. As you can see, if you do a close up here, you can actually see some of them say Winchester, some of them say Hotshot, Luger, RP, CBC, and Spree. So there's a variety and they also come in brass and nickel. And like I said um, before, you can get the different varieties, the different sizes, 9 mil, 38, 40, 45, 12 gauge. You can get it all on wholesalebulletjewelry.com. So today I'm going to make the post earrings out of the nickel finish, which I really like. And they both say 9mm Spree Luger, which is really nice. Because you want to make sure that your, um, your bullet casings match each other, because then it would just look really weird. And here's the post that I'm going to put them on. And like I mentioned earlier, I like to use the syringe with the glue, because then it, it provides that um, accurate amount of glue that I need. So what I like to do is I will actually flip my bullet casings over so the ones that are raw side up, 
I like to have those facing me because then what I do is I glue, which I'll show you, I glue my actual posts and then I'll just put it right on top, give it a little push and center it and that's it. That simple. You know, once you start making a bunch of these, I mean, making a set of earrings in less than five minutes, and I'm saying five minutes with the glue time between um, the post setting to the bullet and then letting the bullet dry before you do the crystals. So we're going to have to let these sit for just a couple minutes. All right, so I've let them dry a little bit. There's, um, I'm going to just put a small little dab in the center of the bullet casing where the primer used to be. And I put my choice of crystal. Here I'm actually doing a sapphire Swarovski crystal, which is a nice deep blue. And then I actually had my husband create this for me. It's just a simple two by four with the tons of holes in it. Like I said earlier, I get a lot of requests for people to, um, that people want to purchase. And again, here I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the center. Put my crystal. Set it and kind of center it and literally put it in my hole, my little hole and forget it. So I'm gonna set it and forget it. The key here is just to let it do its own drying. It's going to set in a matter of minutes, but you really want it to just sit there for about 10, 15 minutes before you even put the backing on it. Or even, I mean, if you wanna wear it, you're probably gonna to wanna to wear, you know, wait about 20, 30 minutes to let it completely set in place. The E6000, it um, quickly sets but then it, it has a little tacky feel to it, so you want it to completely harden. So I hope you enjoyed the simple tutorial. It's a basic 101 tutorial on how to make bullet jewelry post earrings. Um, I'm hoping that you can check out my other videos with more intricate details. And again, like I said, you can get all the materials that I used today at Wholesale Bullet Jewelry. Um, everything that you need to make bullet jewelry will be right there on that website. So hope you enjoy and hope you make plenty. Thanks for watching. Bye.